live in an age of humanism. Over the last several decades, man has fought to purge God from his conscience and his culture. He has torn down every visible altar to the one true God and has erected monuments to himself with the zeal of a religious fanatic. This is not secularism against religious mind thinking. Don't think that. Because the secularist has a religion. Oftentimes he is much more fanatical in his religion than any Christian ever pretended to be. Man has managed to make himself the center, measure, and end of all things. He praises his own inherent worth, demands homage to his self-esteem, and promotes his own self-fulfillment or self-realization as the greatest good. Now if you don't think that hasn't crept into Christianity then you've not read the book Your Best Life Now. Because that's exactly what that's about. He explains away his gnawing conscience. He can't get rid of that. It's there to stay. As the remnants of an antiquated religion of guilt, Christianity. And he excuses himself from any responsibility for the moral chaos surrounding him by blaming society, or at least that part of society that has not yet attained to his enlightenment. Any suggestion that his conscience might be right in its testimony against him, or that he might be responsible for the almost infinite variations of maladies in the world is unthinkable. For this reason, the gospel is a scandal to fallen man because it exposes his delusion about himself. It convicts him of his fallenness and guilt. This is the essential first work of the gospel, and this is why the world so loathes true gospel preaching. Because the true gospel ruins man's party, reigns on his parade, exposes his make-believe, and points out that the emperor has no clothes. Now the scriptures recognize that the gospel of Jesus Christ is a stumbling block and foolishness to all men of every age.